Hi guys, uh, today I am continuing the uh, flea market saga with uh, two new knives that I found. Um, the first one is a Victorinox Tourist, uh, so an 84mm from Victorinox uh, from uh, uh, roughly 1985. And uh, the second one, it's a knife uh, from a brand called Rose Never, um, which was a company back in 1960 that uh, made knives that were inspired by other uh, knife uh, manufacturer's designs. So um, I'll start with the Victorinox. Um, this one, as you can see, it's a Victorinox uh, Tourist Standard. Um, it's an advertising knife. As you can see, here is the uh, brand, uh, uh, the company logo. Um, and uh, this knife, uh, it has no keyring, uh, no scale tools. And um, I am pretty sure it's uh, from 1985. How I determined that? Well, uh, I took a look at the knife uh, first hand, so it has no scale tools, no curing, so um, that means it's from uh, the standard line, as I mentioned before. Uh, that's a line, uh, line of knives from Victorinox that was discontinued for some time now. Uh, another good indication would be the name of the company that it's advertising for. Um, if this uh, logo here would have contained the year, it would have been a lot easier to date. Uh, it's still a good indication. Uh, you could research the name of the company, but that uh, takes time. So in my case, I choose to take a look uh, at the tools and how are they uh, working. So uh, starting with the opening layer, uh, we have here the old school can opener, so nothing unusual there. But when we open the bottle cap opener, we notice that this uh, bottle cap opener does not have a half stop. And that uh, it's a good um, indication in determining the year because Victorinox added the half stop uh, to their bottle cap opener in 1985 to their uh, 91 millimeter frames uh, but uh, they introduced it uh, for uh, a lot later for uh, the 84 millimeter frames so even though it's a good indication it this knife could be from 1985 uh, we cannot be sure so uh, moving on uh, to the main blade you can see that this knife has the old school tank stamp uh, it says victorinox switzerland stainless rose dry and on the back it has the old cross uh, crossbow, cross with the crossbow and if you look closely you'll see that the uh, cross is touching the crossbow on the upper part and this particular tank stamp has been used uh, up until 1985 so uh, at this uh, point we can say that the knife is at least from 1985 Moving along, uh, the small blade, the regular uh, small blade from Victorinox. Um, and uh, the back tools, uh, the uh, regular um, corkscrew, four turn corkscrew. Uh, nothing unusual here as well. And uh, um, as you can see here is the old school uh, all slash reamer uh, without the sewing eye. 
Now I can say for sure that uh, this knife is from 1985 because Victorinox added the sewing eye to their um, uh, awls, to their reamer uh, back in 1985 and they did it both for both 91 and uh, 84 millimeter frames. So uh, this knife it's uh, at least 40 years old. Uh, the second knife, uh, as I mentioned, it's been made by a company uh, called Rausnever, a company uh, dating back to 1960s that made uh, a lot of knives that were inspired by other uh, manufacturers designs uh, as I mentioned before so this one it's uh, also an advertising knife as you can see here it has the company edged on the blade on the main blade uh, you can see here the Rolls Never tank stamp with uh, nothing on the other side uh, this knives uh, this knife uh, borrowed the design from a 1950s Victorinox um, as you can see here uh, this is not a bottle cap opener this is just a flat uh, screwdriver uh, on the other side we have the old school claw uh, can opener that also Victorinos used before they moved uh, to the can opener that we are familiar with today. Um, and on the back side we can see the fluted corkscrew they, that they also used back in the day and also the old school reamer so yeah uh, pretty cool knife nonetheless um, the only thing that uh, does not match with the uh, victorinox frame it's the size it's 84 millimeters but it's really really thin so um, yeah uh, I'm really happy with uh, the knives that I found this time. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and if you like this video please like, share and subscribe and I will uh, see you in the next one.